Hey, what is up you guys? Coming at you again, this time with a Verizon Note 3 tech tutorial. Um, you can use this for a variety of Samsung devices. Just make sure that, that it is compatible with your phone. Uh, you could check that on the forum. I'm going to leave the link for this post in the description down below so you can go ahead and read everything on it and make sure that it is compatible with it. And what I'm talking about is the exposed framework. And the exposed framework just gives you a couple little uh, tweaks that you can do with your phone. Uh, there's a lot and they keep on coming out, little things you can do with your phone. And what I'm going to teach you how to do today is use this exposed framework to get rid of the little custom sim sign that comes on when your phone turns on. I'll put a I put a picture here so you can see what that looks like. It's whenever you boot up your phone, you get this little custom lock on your boot screen. So, what we're going to do is we're going to actually remove that. Now there's two ways. One is a super super simple way. Well, of course, with the exception that you have to do a couple things to get to that point and that is installing a ROM onto your phone and this ROM that I've used and I've actually recommended many of times is the hyperdrive ROM and I'll leave a link in the description for that too and all the videos for that but if you go to my channel you can see I have a Verizon Galaxy Note 3 series and I show you how to root the phone how to uh, install custom ROMs and everything and in that installing a custom ROM video I do show you how to install hyperdrive so go ahead and check that video out and the easiest way is to follow that video and use the latest version of hyperdrive and that's 7 so hyperdrive 7.0 use that and it actually automatically removes the custom symbol the developers awesome and he's gone ahead and just added that in so it's great that's what I have and of course you have to reboot the phone after you install the ROM and all this stuff for it to work um, but it works and that's what I'm actually running off of but before I did that um, this is a method that I had to do so um, go ahead and read this forum uh, once you've read it then you can go down to the bolded download letter right here and you can in, you can download the installer from this website so I'm just gonna go ahead and open a new tab and it's an APK as you see here just go ahead and copy that onto your phone either on your SD card or your internal storage and then you'll be able to continue on with this so make sure you have that exposed framework installed and then I'll show you what to do uh, on the phone while you're at it though make sure you do download the Wanum exposed this runs off of the exposed framework and you're gonna need the exposed framework to run this so make sure you download this because this is an, an, an additional thing and with the Wanum exposed App, uh, application is it gives you a whole bunch of different tweaks and tip to your phone you can change a whole bunch of things I might make a video on this a little more in depth but I really don't use it that much because of my phone having the hyperdrive ROM and the hyperdrive ROM kind of has something like this already built into the application but I might be able to make a video on this uh, in the future so uh, get that exposed framework on your phone go ahead and install that APK and then I'll go ahead and show you what you do in these applications so you can get that custom symbol removed from the boot of your phone so let's go ahead and go onto the phone alright so here we are on the exposed installer this is the main screen this is probably where you will end up whenever you first boot up this application if not then just go ahead and go to framework here at the top and this is what we are supposed to mess with in the beginning. As you see underneath where it says active, I show green lettering 47 and 42. Um, you want to make sure that those are green and not red. Red means that they're outdated. So if they are outdated, just go ahead and hit this install update button. Once you hit it, then this will pop up. Once it's done, then it will ask for a re a reboot so it would activate so go ahead and hit OK and then you can do a soft reboot or a regular reboot and I'm not going to do it because I'm updated but go ahead and do that and then we'll continue on alright so once you've updated come back to the exposed installer and then we will go to modules alright so I have a bunch of other modules that you might not have but what we're worried about right now is the one I'm exposed and 
all you have to do is make sure that the box is checked with the green check mark and you are good to go so if I undo it you'll see at the bottom it says that it will it will apply the changes after a reboot so I'm gonna hit it again as you see at the bottom it says that it will apply the changes on reboot alright so all you have to do is hold the power button just go ahead and do a restart and then come on back over here and we will continue on alright so now you're back from a reboot for the exposed module and here we are in Wantum Expose. It should be active. If it asks for root permissions, just go ahead and grant it to it. And then just scroll down to the bottom and then go to Security Hacks. And underneath the system, you'll see Fake System Status is one of the options here. If I uncheck it like I did, it sets the status to Custom. So you'll have that little custom icon at your boot. But if I go ahead and check it, it sets the status to Official so that will get rid of the little custom lock you get on your phone whenever you boot and that's all there is to it so once you have that done that custom symbol should not appear whenever you boot your phone just go ahead after you do this you'll see in the pull down menu that a reboot is requested so just go ahead and hit that reboot button and you're good to go now whenever you reboot it for the first time you'll probably still see it there uh, show you'll still see the little lock showing up with the custom label uh, just go ahead and let the phone reboot again and then reboot it over again and then it should be gone by then if not make sure everything is updated and that should fix the issue but once you install it then you should be good to go alright so that's it really uh, it's that simple that easy you just have to have the exposed framework installed uh, download one I'm exposed off of the Google Play Store and then just activate one I'm exposed within the exposed framework do a couple of reboots here and there then go ahead and fake the system status with one I'm exposed um, just go ahead and check that like I showed you and that's it a couple after a couple of reboots you should not have that little custom lock on your boot with the little custom label on it with everything that I'm doing I'm assuming that you already are rooted you don't have to be on a custom ROM or anything as I talked about at the beginning of the video but I am assuming that you are rooted on on either a ROM or an official firmware but you have to be rooted for this because it does use super user permissions to make all this stuff happen so if I missed anything please be sure to leave a comment down below uh, the reason I made this video is actually because some of you guys actually left me a comment asking for this uh, I had I mentioned it in a previous video and here I am I'm making that video so anything that you guys request it really does help on getting my head getting my brain running and uh, coming up with ideas of videos that might help you guys so hopefully this has helped you guys if it has be sure to hit the like button down below and be sure to check out my channel uh, I have a whole bunch of other videos on there as well if you're interested on installing ROMs onto your Galaxy Note 3 uh, or even starting off from scratch with your phone I have all the videos starting from the day you got your phone all the way up to getting a root and installing custom things and doing stuff like this on my channel so be sure to check that out and subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have a whole bunch of other videos coming out with similar things like this as well alright guys that's it for now y'all have a good one